Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video session, we're going to go over the text tool in Corel Draw. Text in Corel is a vector object, but it's set up with the properties of being a text object and being able to work with it as text. Here you can see the text property bar or the text tool property bar, much like the toolbar that we went over in our previous session relating to text and fonts. The text tool is over here in the toolbox underneath the polygon tool. Left click, select text. Your cursor will change to the A with the plus sign or crosshairs. Now the text tool has several different cursor states. You can see as I hover over that text, it changes to the text select state. If there's nothing that I'm hovering over that's text, it's in the text tool or text creation state. Here we have type or text along a path and here we have create text frame to add text or type to a vector object and you can see because that's a vector object and I'm hovering over it I have the ability to create that frame to start out just to create text just left click one time and you'll see the blinking cursor now you can come up here and change your font through the font list as we went over in the last video and you can also choose your point size and I'll change this to 12 points you can see that got smaller I'll type in sample text and now with that and the text tool you can see that we are in the and from the center point I could left click and move the text but I cannot change to the rotate and skew mode I can also resize the text, left click and hold down, just like working from the scale and stretch mode. I can left click, hold down and select text. I can also hover over a word, double click and it will select that word for me automatically. Also, if I'm in the pick tool state with the text, I can hover over the text with the pick tool, double click and it will change to the text tool. I can work with that text. Now if I select text and highlight it, I can come up into the properties bar, change its size, and you can see I could go to the font and change the font of the highlighted text. Working with that text, I can also change the color. Change that to a red. Left click, well that's actually a magenta. So you can see I can select the text and do many things working with the text tool and creating text. Now I can also, and we'll scroll down here, create paragraph text. And we really have two types of text in CorelDRAW. We have what's known as artistic text. That's not paragraph text. And it's kind of free in the CorelDRAW workspace. You can do a lot of things with it. Then we have paragraph text. To create paragraph text, all I have to do is with the text tool, left click, hold down, and drag. You'll see the blue dotted line or dashed line release and you now have paragraph text. And you can start to type in the paragraph. Text box. And you can see you can go through and type that and you can change the size of that because this operates like the scale and stretch mode. And you have these handles on top and the bottom to pull down, push up, or pull up, etc. A little bit different than the normal stretch handles. In our next session, we'll get into working with the shape tool 
and the line spacing and the kerning of the text. But in this session, we're going to stay with the text tool. So we have two types of text. We have artistic text and paragraph text. We can also create text in a frame. And you can see, based on my cursor, I can come over here. Now, if I hover over this, I'm going to go to text along a path. But if I move down just a hair, text along a path, right there where you see the squiggly line, or down, and I have text in a frame. And if I click there, I can start typing text in a vector object, which would be a frame, which is kind of like a shaped paragraph text based on the object that you created the text frame in. And you could make that any object you'd like based on the layout or the graphic design that you're setting up. Then we have text on a path. Now text on a path, if I come down here, you'll see my cursor change. I can put that right there in the center and start to type text on a, and now because I started from the center, it's not gonna work very well because it's always going to start I'll hit Control-Z and go back. Go back to my text tool and we'll start over here. And now I'll type text on a path. Now if I want to move this on the path, I'm going to have to go to the Shape tool. You'll see the nodes appear. Left click, select all those nodes, and I can start to move that text on a path, but we're going to have an entire session dedicated to text on a path here in the next few video sessions. So this covers the basics or the fundamentals of working with text, and we'll continue with some more on working with text in our next video session.